guys, welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at for each loops. Again, this is another mechanism that allows us to step to a construct of some kind, one step at a time. So let's take a look at what I mean. Crank up Visual Studio, make a template as we have it here. And now what we are going to do is this. I'll paste some code that I prepared earlier. I'll highlight and comment it out. And now let's go through it. Why? Well, this will allow us to treat a string so that we can step through the string one character at a time. And we can take a long string horizontally and break it down into individual words. It's quite a nice little way of approaching it. Okay, of course, I'm sure it's not the only way, it's a way. So let's go with console here, that right line. And then you'll say here, enter string, simple enough. So a prompt to the user. Remember, computer programs, input, process input, produce output. So in our case, the input is the string. String s equals and then console dot read line. So read input. Then you're gonna say this new construct for each. Then you're gonna say C A R N S like this. Okay, so for each character called C N S, meaning in a string named S, you will perform the following. Okay? Let me break this down over a couple lines. Notice that this does not take a semicolon at the end. So for each character in the string, we will perform the following. If C is equal to the blank here, you'll say console.write line and nothing like that. Else, you'll say console.write and then C. Close that with a semicolon. Okay? There you go. So let me delete this code here. What I'm using for reference, this is our simple code with, and again, let's right click here and organize the usings, remove unused ones, there you go. All right, so for each character in the string, if the character is a blank, write a new line, but if it's not, just print everything. All right, so, and now, let's go with debug and start without debugging first, just to confirm that this algorithm uh, works as expected. An algorithm, of course, is just a fancy way of saying sequence of steps to be performed to solve some problem, perhaps. And now let's say this is the best day of our lives because it's the only one we have, like this. And there you go, you see? So it's broken it down into this is the best day of our lives because it's the only one we have, like that. Okay, word by word, it's been broken. There you go. So here, if you'll go into debug, let's actually yeah, debug and step into. This will allow us to observe the execution of the for each more specific, specifically and clearly. This is really important now. Okay, so let's go into it. Okay, so first prompt the user, read input. So this is the best day of our lives. Hit enter. Notice that S now is this string, and we will examine the string one character at a time. There you go. So notice the way the for each runs. First it goes over into S. Okay. Notice that right now, take a look. Okay. Then in. Then it looks at character C. Now C actually is a variable in memory. You see this? Okay. Then it's going to check. So in that case it fails because the word is T. All right, so that'll print it. And remember, write is the one that just writes horizontally without making new lines. All right, and then we'll go back to the top. So each character C and S. Again, you're going to check C. The condition fails, goes down to else. Write it. Again, check. Condition fails. One more time. Condition failed again. One more time. Now it passes. You see the C actually is, you know, 32 empty, as you can see. Okay, that's a true statement. So it's going to display a new line. Skip the else, go back to the top, and continue the for each process like this. Okay? And of course, if you look at the output window, it's doing this, as you can see, one letter at a time. Okay? So we can do is because that's short, like this. And now if you come over here, Okay, C, let's take a look. So now C, as you can see, has the number 32, the integer version. So that means the if should pass. Let's take a look. 
we go into the body of the if, write a new line, skip the else portion, as you can see, so now it says this and is, and they are on separate lines. There you go, so you've just learned how to use the for each mechanism here. So you're doing this because this allows you to, for example, take a string and step through it character uh, by character. <coughs> and again, it's a loop, so we'll run and run and run until there's nothing left to process. And that is it. So thanks very much, and I'll see you in another video.